Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video and Happy New Year! It is 2022 and I'm so excited to start my first review off with the one and only Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. You guys, oh my goodness, this foundation, it is a mature lady and gentleman dream. It is infused with amazing skincare benefits and it really is the most incredible foundation for us ladies over 40. And it is infused with so many amazing skincare ingredients and it's going to improve our skin and I can't wait to get into the details. But before we get started, I'm Christy. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell so you can get notified. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and I'd love for you to join our beautiful Glam Fam community. I have a very special announcement next week, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. So make sure you hit that bell, okay? So you can get notified. And please give this video a huge thumbs up when you hit the like button and when you comment below. It really does help my videos out. I greatly appreciate it. Plus, I love, love, love hearing from you guys. It's a treat for me every Sunday. I missed you all so, so much. When I'm not on YouTube, be sure to follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, Christy Allure, and on my blog, ChristyAllure.com. And without further ado, let's get started. Glam fam, let's get started. So we have two shades that we're gonna try on, but I have a lot of swatches for you guys because I went to Sephora today and I just swatched the whole light medium section. I didn't do deep and light just because I didn't wanna to cause too much attention to myself, but I will show you guys right there. Those are all the swatches from three neutral to eight neutral. And I did it while they were wet, and then I also took a picture while they were dry. But let's just focus on while they're wet right now. So we have 3N, which is has actually more of a yellow undertone when looking at it wet. And then 4 Neutral definitely has more olive undertones. And then 4 Warm definitely has more warm, orangey type undertones. And then as you can see, 5 in store in that lighting. So just make sure you keep in mind this is like the lighting in Sephora, which is not great. And then next to that is 6N, which I also did purchase, but I think it's gonna be a little too dark for me right now. And then next to that is 7N and 8N. So make sure if you're going in store to try it on, to go outside and take a picture of yourself, a selfie outside. Hopefully this gives you guys a good idea from 3N to 8N what those shades are. And then let's take a look at it dry because it looks very different. You have to keep in mind foundations like this, and we'll go over all the details in just a second, but they tend serum skincare based foundations or skin tents. In this case, it's more of a medium coverage foundation, tend to oxidize, and this one definitely did. I walked around the store for about 15 minutes while this dried down. Now keep in mind, my arm is a little bit more tan than my neck and my face, definitely. So seven to eight, even the girls in store were like, yeah, that's too dark for your skin tone. And through the day is going to oxidize even more. So please keep that in mind when you are looking at these swatches. I rather have my foundation a little bit lighter than too dark. That's just my my preference because I can bronze up the outer perimeters. I think people get a little too carried away with that, but maybe that's me and I'm just old school, old fashioned, and that's my, my preferences. And then we'll just kind of take a look at the outdoor footage. So I did go outside and take some photos, but those are the swatches. Let's now take a look at 5N and 6N in my lighting at home. And as you can see right there, that's wet. 
it definitely looks a lot better in my lighting at home and this is just next to the out um, to the windows where you're pulling in some daylight i hope that really helps i know when choosing a foundation it is so frustrating because typically the arm swatches that the companies provide are not that good they're not it's not as easy to determine, especially when it comes to these type of foundations. Now, grant you, this is a very innovative, different type of foundation that Charlotte Tilbury has really been working on. I think she said the lot from, I think what I read, the last five years, she's been trying to develop this foundation because she felt like there was a big gap in the medium coverage foundation market. So she wanted something that was innovative, was more of like a skincare hybrid, and she came up with this. So I am so excited. This is really made for my girls with like dry skin, mature skin, especially because even though, even if you're oily and you're over, I'd say over 30, you know, our skin, our textures are different. You want foundations that are not going to be too drying because it's going to accentuate those fine lines and you can always powder down. So lately, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't been filming. So my last month or so i have just been wearing powdered foundation and i feel like my skin looks so much better it is cleared up knock on wood haven't had any breakouts and just have stuff that's really starting to fade and my skincare from dermatology is heaven on earth and i have been so consistent with that for the last four months and it is the best skincare system for me and i probably won't derail from that i do like for under my makeup and daytime is the kills ultra facial cream and this is like my holy grail moisturizer i won't use anything else anymore this just lies under makeup impeccably and especially, I, don't, I hope that's a word, <laughs> especially for my girls over 30 and 40 and 50. You know, we really want a good base for our makeup because that's what's gonna make it stay on all day, not crease as much. Because let's be honest, any liquid foundation is going to crease on our skin. It's just reality. If you don't want creasing, stop using liquid foundations and start using powdered foundations because I didn't crease at all the whole time I was wearing powder foundations and I never got so much more compliments on my skin and I just spot concealed with a concealer. I have just heavily been using the Anastasia one the most. I don't even know where it's at. This is uh, shade nine. So I think we're gonna mix that with this or yeah, I think we're gonna do the Anastasia one with this today. So with foundations like this, let's get into the application and I'll talk about all the ingredients and details further along, but I know sometimes people just want to get on here and watch my application and the swatches that mean the most. So let's start off with five. This is a really good packaging. I love this packet. It this one's a little dirty, but I'll show the up close shots when I got home and took the photos. This type of packaging I love for traveling. It is so important to me to have good, compact, nothing glass, very easy will slide into a makeup bag because i tend to overpack in general i just that's who i am so for me i need to make sure i'm finding products that i can travel with that i really like so i really appreciate this, this is 44 dollars one ounce 30 mils general foundation size and a dollar 47 per milliliter so that's really good for a luxury brand and something so innovative like this that charlotte tilbury spends so many years developing to bring to the market. I mean, her products are made for us ladies over 40. If she can develop magic cream without the fragrance, I probably would only use that, but I cannot tolerate the fragrance. So Charlotte Tilbury, let's get a fragrance free version of that. Let's try the five and the six and let's just see. So I'm just gonna kind of squirt. They, they squirt out really nicely. I have no problems with the component you know, acting up or anything like that. Upon first squirt, it was really good. So that's what they kind of look like side by side in my studio lighting. Let's put this on my skin. So this is the five. I'm gonna show you guys, that's the five. And remember, this is not blended in yet. And then this is the six. So for me, I'm just afraid, even though it's a good color and it will match, either one will match, let's be honest, either one is going to match, but I just feel like the five is going to be a better option for me right now. I am not gonna do a primer on this side. I'm actually just going to use this with my fingers because this is the product for my girls that are in a hurry, that are moms, 
that really don't want to focus a lot on their, you know, finicking with makeup, I think this is a beautiful foundation, especially for every day. Would this be a foundation I would use on a special occasion? Probably not, but I don't know. You know, you never know. I don't know what it's going to be like yet. It goes on really nicely with your fingers. I just wanted to show you guys with no primer what that would look like and just my normal Kiehl's moisturizer. I'm gonna stop putting eye um, foundation on my eyelids because I feel like my eyeshadow goes on better when I do that because a lot of these have some type of oils in them, especially concealers too. And I'm gonna go over that in the next video. So I'm gonna jump off camera here and I think it's about like three o'clock, so I'll show my iPhone right there. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go do another video uh, doing the Natasha Denona Mini Viva. Sometimes by tapping it in with your fingers though, the warmth of your fingers helps warm up the active ingredients in this product. So that can give you more coverage sometimes. And I'm just, that was only one pump, you guys. So that's pretty good, you know? And I, for me, like this would be perfect because I think this is gonna go beautiful instead of using my uh, concealer to spot conceal, I'll use a product like this and then do my powdered foundation on top. So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing because that is beautiful. My skin looks so hydrated and youthful. Is it covering up all of my scarring? No, but that's okay. I can do that with my powdered foundation. Okay, let's try putting a little bit of a smoothing primer just to, just to see. So we know what it looks like without it. I'm just gonna take this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. You guys know I've been raving about this one. So uh, just in this little pore area right here just to kind of smooth that area out. I'm just gonna stick that on the back of my hand. One pump, one, that first one barely came out. Okay, now we're gonna do this with, I'm just gonna kind of wipe it onto my skin like this, like swipe it like that. And then we're going to take the sponge and just dab that. Very beautiful. Actually, that looks really nice. Oh my gosh, you guys, this foundation is un believable if you have normal to dry skin and even super dry skin this is going to be heaven sent for you wow i don't know how it's going to work on oily skin i don't have oily skin so comment below if you tried this already and you have oily skin let me know in the comment section but if you do have oily skin it's okay again to put this on as a base and use more mattifying powdered foundation to just kind of pat in the skin you don't have to use it a lot and that's going to help my oily skin girls, but still getting that hydration you do need in the skincare benefits because this foundation is supposed to improve your skin over time. I'm gonna take this MAC brush. This is just the 170 that I like. I don't wanna rub it in like that because this is not the type of foundation to do that with. I mean, you can, don't, don't get me wrong, but for me, because I want to have coverage, that's why. If you want like the BK Beauty, uh, 106 brush is a really good brush to do like swiping motions like that or even circular motions. It's a good way to buff in the product. And actually that's working pretty good. So this BK Beauty one's really good for that, this foundation actually. Actually, I think I like it even better than that MAC one. All right, should have just used that to begin with. This is what happens when you have too many brushes, but very beautiful. Okay, so for me personally, I don't like it with my fingers. Plus I don't really like using my fingers, but a lot of people, my mom only likes using her fingers. So I get it, a lot of people like that, but I get more coverage doing it with the brush and then I'm gonna press it in with a sponge. Uh, my favorite so far has been the sponge application and this one. One more thing I wanna try on this side and I do like it with my smoothing primer, to be honest. I like having this with it, but it's still very beautiful even without it. So what I'm going to do is take my Stands Out Beauty sponge and I'm just gonna take it on to, actually, just take it onto the skin. I like to do it this way first. I'm gonna build it up on this side and this side just to see. Take the excess off the back of my hand just to see how it builds too. Plus I haven't put any on my nose yet. So where I can't seem to hold on to makeup, and I think this is a lot of people, is their nose. My nose area does not wanna hold on to makeup. That's why I prefer just using powdered foundation there. Plus, I find that I get less sunglass marks. So I really like that. So it goes on really good 
with the Stands Out Beauty Sponge as well. As you can tell on my skin, it wasn't running down. So if it's very runny, it's gonna be light. It's gonna be a light coverage foundation. That one is, has that medium. It's not thick and it's not light, so it's perfect. And she really nailed it for um, that market that I do feel like was missing. So that that's awesome. Love, you guys. That is beautiful. Let me know in the comments section. I'll show you the side by side of what I look like before I put my foundation on and now what I look like with one, well, three pumps technically of the foundation. Very pretty, you guys. What do you think? Let me know like in the comments section. Was this something you guys were interested in? And we'll go over all the details in just a second. So it still feels a little wet. It hasn't dried down yet. It's still very tacky. And I really like pressing it in with that BK Beauty 101 brush. I think it really is not taking away the coverage, which I like. Her site states it's a neutralized base with a clear color pigment formula plus molecule complex that makes the foundation basically or the color stretch wide across all skin tones. So she has some unique formulation in there to stretch that out. This has zero fragrance in it. Yeah, I can't smell any fragrance. For having skincare benefits in it, that really surprises me, you guys, because a lot of products that have skincare that are hybrids, like Estee Lauder, I cannot use Futurist anymore. It really negatively impacts my skin, plus it has a chemical sunscreen in there. So I loved that foundation, and this reminds me a lot of it, minus the sunscreen and minus the fragrance. I don't smell those skincare ingredients, and I love that. That just makes me and reassures me that this product won't negatively impact my skin down the road. So I am not going to actually do in this video like I was doing last year, I was rating them because this is a first impressions video. I really don't know how I'm going to like this product down the road. So what I'm going to do is at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a star rating, but these are the things I'm going to look for. And this is just upon first impression. So down the road, when I do my monthly favorites, we'll circle back to it and we'll see if I'm still there because a lot of the times it changes. It just does. And my skin changes changes, my mood changes. Let's be honest, we're women. Things change. <laughs> so these are the things that I look for in products. And what I'm looking for is Will the product stay on for a good amount of time? Because that's important to all of us. Will it play well with other products? And that is huge. Meaning, will it move the other, like if I put powder over this, is it going to move it around? And is it going to, you know, another cream product going to lay on top of it nicely? So that is one thing I'm gonna look for. Will my sensitive skin be affected by the foundation? I don't think it's going to, I just have a good feeling. Can the shade work well with my skin tones? And I was a little concerned with that, you guys but I actually love the way, and maybe it's that stretch technology. Will I like the finish on my skin type? And so far, so good. And the last thing I'm going to look at when I give the star rating at the end, is this a price point that I can afford down the road? I am getting like Tatcha La Mer, and I have the La Mer foundation. I'm getting that type of effect, but at a more reasonable price point with all of these skincare ingredients that we're gonna go over in just a second that are going to improve my skin over time the more I use it. So that's amazing. A foundation that's going to improve your skin over time. Usually you use a foundation and you're like, okay, it's great. It's like a Band-Aid. It's covering up spots and stuff like that, but it's not really doing anything. This is a Band-Aid with an antibiotic underneath the Band-Aid. You know, you're getting skincare benefits, treating your skin while camouflaging any type of imperfections that you have. And it's brightening. I can see that brightening complex in there. I I was so nervous with 5N and it is brightening my skin. So let's quickly touch on those highlighted ingredients. So it does have hyaluronic acid, which we all know hydrates and plumps, revitalizes the skin. It has rose complex, which reduces visible signs of fatigue for brighter, smoother looking skin. And it is definitely, definitely doing that. And then she has this Bix active, I hope I'm saying that right, which visibly reduces shine and blurs the look of pores. So you're getting glowing skin without it looking greasy or making your oily skin look 
very oily. So I really like that and I really feel like that's what it's doing. This is a medium coverage hydrating foundation. So it has this Hyaluron Smooth, I don't know if I said that right, that targets uneven texture, dryness and dullness and locks in moisture for a fresher, plumper, smoother and even looking skin tone. It plumps, it has coconut extract, I hope that's not coconut oil, which improves skin ability to hold up water by helping strengthen the skin barrier over time for plumper, younger looking skin. All right, let's go in with my Anastasia concealer and we're just gonna put that, I'm not gonna use too much. Okay, too much in my standards. This might be a lot for everyone else. Just right there, because that helps kind of lift up the skin area. So we'll start there. And I'm just kind of making sure I'm placing it where I want. Now I'm gonna go in with my Dose of Color sponge and this just blends it out and into the foundation. It's playing beautifully together. I hope she comes out with a more hydrating concealer down the road. I'm assuming that's where she's going with this, so hopefully I'm excited if she does. I do wanna try the new Jaclyn Hill one as well, so I think that launches a couple days after I'm filming this, so I will order that. Beautiful, you guys, that is stunning. And I'm just gonna take the sponge and just blend everything in together. All right, so I just applied my contour. Uh, this is a brand new contour product from, or uh, bronzing product from Rare Beauty. I'll discuss that in next week's video and I'll show you how that applies in next week's video because that's what we're focusing on. I really just wanna focus on the foundation today and it's played really beautifully together. It didn't lift up the product. You'll be able to see this in next Sunday's video, but yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay, so now let's go in with some powders and let me show you guys before I jump off camera and film the eyeshadow look. We're gonna use my normal powders just because this is what I would use with it. So I wanna make sure. This is, again, a product I'm gonna wanna make sure I really press into the skin versus uh, versus rub around too much because it is still a little tacky. Perfection, that is beautiful, stunning, wow. All right, instead of using a powder foundation, just because I really do want to see how this looks without it, we're just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder and we're just gonna use my medium and we're gonna use tan uh, or deep, I should say, for the bronzing look or for the two, uh, set down that contour stick. All right, I don't wanna go in there and swipe it around too much. I'd rather just press this in. That is beautiful. And with the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, I mean, come on, you guys. My skin looks flawless now. You saw the scarring in the beginning. It's really gone and it's not emphasizing any texture. So I really think this is a beautiful foundation for any age group, but specifically for uh, mature skin like wow oh my gosh you guys amazing all right we're gonna see how it you know wears over time okay let's go in with my uh, this is a rougher number four brush I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury deep and do a little bit off my hand there and just oh yeah I can swipe it looks good yeah I was a little afraid that I wasn't gonna be able to do that very pretty right not that pretty it kind of gives you that um, airbrushed effect with the contour. I am gonna do a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in uh, medium. So we'll take that onto there and just kind of, that beautiful, right? Oh my gosh. So airbrush, flawless bronzer, setting powder, and now her beautiful skin foundation. This is insanely beautiful, wow. All right, you guys, I am going to jump off camera and finish up my eyeshadow and do that in a separate video. And I will be back at the end of the night. I'll see you guys soon. Hey Glam Fam, I wanted to check in really fast. I've had this foundation on for three hours now and I just want you guys to see how it's working on my skin. It is very, very beautiful. It hasn't cracked, creased or anything. So I'm gonna go film the rest of this video and I will see you guys at the end of the night. All right, you guys, so this is how the foundation looks after eight Hours. I've already had this foundation on for eight hours. Oh my goodness. It is wearing so 
beautifully. This is perfection, you guys. I already did the rest of my makeup on a different video, so next Sunday you will see this new Natasha Denona uh, eyeshadow look and the blush and my opinions on that and my feedback on that, I should say. So we'll get into that next Sunday, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks after eight hours. Yes, it is so, 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 so beautiful. All right, where does this rank? So, like I said in the beginning of the video, I am not gonna give you like what I typically do with my rankings and all that because it is a first impressions and even though I get so giddy and excited and right now I can pretty much tell you it's my top foundation, I wanna make sure to keep using it and I wanna see if there's skincare benefits that I see along the way and I wanna see if I continually like it. But so far, you guys, this is the best foundation I have ever found for my skin, my skin type personally. I do have mature skin. I'm gonna be 44 again next month or March. And I have a very dry, dry skin. I have very sensitive skin, but I also can get oily at some point. So I, I do have some combination and normalcy in there somewhere. But more importantly, I have very, very, very sensitive skin. I went through all of the check marks earlier and it met each check mark, you guys. It is incredible. I cannot believe the way everything laid on top of this from, I tried a cream blush, I tried powder blushes, contours, everything, everything laid perfectly over this. And you guys, usually I am breaking apart right here. It's not breaking apart at all. Let me just make sure that I, I mean, yes, I have a little bit of creasing right there. It's normal for liquid foundation, but this is without setting with very much powder. I want you guys to see what it looked like without setting with a lot of powder. I normally would go in there with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Powder or my Fenty or my Turn Up the Base one size and really press that in, especially for filming long periods with under all these lights. I would normally do that. I didn't do that. I just used my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder and that is impeccable. I think if I would have even went in there with my foundation powders, I probably would have had a longer longevity with my frown lines. But again, I've never had work done to my face. So I have fine lines, you know, that's what happens after 40. But other than that, my skin has never felt so refreshed and like glowy, but not, not, not the kind of glowy, like I, a lot of the times I don't like glowy foundations on me. And I really do feel like even if you have combo or oily skin, I really do. If you think, if you set this down with the right powders, you can, you're going to really love this because especially if you're over 40, it has all those skincare ingredients in there. And so far it's not negatively impacting my skin. Again, I will, I can't tell you that until I keep using it to know if I'm really going to break out or any of that stuff, but it feels good. There's no fragrance to it. And that's really difficult with these hybrid, like I said earlier, with these hybrid foundations and skincare, a lot of times you can smell even like the skincare ingredients in it. And I can't smell the skincare ingredients in it. And probably because it just and have an SPF in it and that's what I mainly appreciate because I'm gonna use an SPF in my other products I use my uh, dermatology one I'll put right there my universal tinted uh, SPF and it works wonderful under makeup so if you're looking for a good non-chemical physical type moisturizer you can use my code below get 20% off use my link use KRA 20 and get 20% off and use that that sunscreen but I don't like when they include it in foundations it's just I'm not a fan of that and and it does add a certain scent to it that's what happened with the Estee Lauder Futurist even though it's non-comedogenic and all that I ended up breaking out a lot from it so Ever since I stopped using a lot of my liquid foundations, my face completely cleared up. And now I have scars from my old breakouts that I have to get covered. But even with that, I feel like the coverage came out beautifully. This is an impeccable foundation. Charlotte Tilbury, you nailed this for us ladies over 40. You nailed it. I mean, no matter what age, even teens are going to appreciate and love this because even if you're 16, 17, 18, getting involved in makeup for the first time, this is such a light weight. It's only going to improve their skin over time. So if you're a mom of a teen, it's only going to improve their skin over time. And we, it starts with early protection, right? You want to make sure you're using the right products at an early age to prevent fine lines and wrinkles down the road or, you know, slow the aging process down. It's not going to stop it completely, but slowing the aging process down. So I really think no matter if 
whatever age you start out wearing makeup to over 50, over 40, 30, you are going to love this foundation. You're gonna love this foundation if you're a person that doesn't really like a lot of coverage, just wants something very easy. You guys saw how I applied it with my hands and applied beautifully with my hands. It's a very natural look. I think this could even be one of those ones where I could just literally like pat it on a little bit with my hands just to kind of even out my skin tone and then just go in with powder because I love powders and lately that that's what's been working for me is powdered foundation. I know Amber loves powder foundation as well, but I really, really, I think Regina Crystal, I think a lot, Susan, a lot of you are going to love, love, love this foundation. Oh my gosh. And Cynthia's, the ingredients look really good in there. She's our, our glam fam sister that really nails ingredients down. So if she's using it in there, let us know. But and I'll let you guys know, because sometimes there may be some type of form of coconut oil in there that doesn't really negatively impact me. Like the Anastasia one has a little bit of a derivative of coconut, and this has coconut uh, extracts in it, but I think it's more coconut water. And coconut water is amazing for your skin. It is non-comedogenic. So as long as it's coconut water, it typically doesn't bother me. But some other, just that Capric Caprylic Triglyceride is the one that, you know, most impactful as far as making me break out. So. The Anastasia one has a little bit of coconut oil in a different form, and that one doesn't affect me. So I don't know. I don't know. All I know is so far, I am in love with this foundation. Five out of five stars, you guys. This is a winner, winner chicken dinner. Now, this is just first impression, eight hours, first day of using it. We'll see in the end of the month when I do my January or February favorites where I include it. I may wait till my February favorites because I wanna keep wearing it over time and let really let you guys know, but so far it is phenomenal. So if you have any doubts, put it in your cart, buy it, you guys. It's not bad, $44 is not a bad price point. $1.47 per milliliter is actually a phenomenal price point. You do need to be a little careful. I found that this six pump was a little bit easier than the five pump. Now it is, doesn't have one of those, so I don't know if anyone can educate me on that, but it doesn't have like a, you know, like the little stick thing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not really good at these components, but I do like that you can even pour it out in your hand. I love that it's easy to travel with. It screws on really nice. The cap goes on really nice. It's not gonna leak. This is something you can just throw in your purse as well. Like it's so, it's, it's still with one ounce and 30 mils, she gave us more product, less packaging. I greatly appreciate that. I love that it's not glass. I love that it's plastic, but it still looks luxurious and still has that Charlotte Tilbury luxurious, you know, it matches, it goes with it. So very, very impressed. Like I said earlier, it's almost like she took a foundation with skincare and Hollywood Flawless, Flawless Filter, which is her number one, almost, I don't know if that's her number one, so I think this is her number one seller in the Magic Cream, but Hollywood Flawless Filter is amazing, and it really lies beautifully under makeup, but then you're spending like 40 something dollars on that, plus foundation, plus skincare, this is all in one. This is one product, $44, so in love, ding, ding! January 2022, we are off to an amazing start because this really just set the tone. This is like, okay, we're here, five out of five. How much further can we go? Come on, Charlotte, come out with a concealer. I'm waiting for you to come out with a concealer like this. So I love it, you guys know I am a full coverage kind of gal. So for me to like something like this, this is what was missing from the market. There's either light coverage or full coverage, but there was really not anything in between in that medium. And that was the gap she saw and she filled it to the top, you guys. And it's just not surprising with Charlotte Tilbury because she always comes out with phenomenal products that are just so catering to every skin age and type, but really for my mature skin ladies. Yes, we pay a little bit more money, but it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it. So very excited. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below and let me know if this was something you were interested in. And if you already purchased it, if you're already using it, share with us, let us know you guys. I feel like it does oxidize a little bit. So keep that in mind. That's why I think the 5N ended up being a perfect shade for me. And I think 6N will be perfect 
during the uh, summertime frame. I am so happy to be back and reviewing. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I have some very exciting news to announce in next Sunday's video, so stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed already, you guys, what are you doing? Please hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell so you can get notified. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, and again, we'd love for you to join our beautiful Glam Fam community. We have such a beautiful sisterhood here on YouTube, and please give this video a huge thumbs up. You guys know the drill. Click that like button and comment below. Say hello. I love hearing from you guys. Follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, Christy Allure, and on my blog, ChristyAllure.com, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye! Push over the limits with you